Each smart sign spot check monitor is supplied with a standard starter pack of accessories. Each pack is specific to the particular model. In this example, we are using the Nowcore Pulse Oximetry version with a temperature option. Model number SC300NT. Carton number 1 contains the main accessories. Carton number 2 contains the accessories and consumables for the temperature probe. The main unit is supplied in its protective packaging. The main accessory carton contains the following standard items. An instructions for use CD. A quick start guide. One earth cable. One three meter blood pressure hose. One adult blood pressure cuff. One Nowcore Oxymax adult reusable finger sensor. One Nowcore Oxymax SPO2 interface cable. The temperature accessory carton contains the following standard items. One wireless temperature sensor. One cradle. A pack of 20 temperature lenses. And two AAA alkaline cells. Remove the SC300 unit from its protective packaging. Make sure the main battery is connected before use. Gently rotate the unit to expose the battery compartment on the underside. Using a crosshead screwdriver, gently remove the two screws as shown. The battery is connected to the main unit using the connection system shown. Offer the battery cover into position and refit the two screws. The temperature sensor is powered by two AAA batteries. The battery compartment is on the underside. Remove the grey cover and fit the batteries into place, paying particular attention to the polarity. Refit the cover. The sensor is now ready to be paired to the main unit. The SC300 can be operated from the local main supply. The main power input socket is mounted on the rear of the device. Take the power cable supplied with the unit and connect it to a wall socket.
Each temperature sensor is supplied with its integrated holder. The cradle fits onto the right-hand side of the unit. It is located via the three mounting slots. Carefully offer the cradle into position and snap fit it into position. Offer the pack of temperature lenses and sensor into position on the cradle. The blood pressure socket is mounted on the left hand side of the unit, marked NIVP. Push fit the hose into position. The oximetry socket is located on the left hand side of the unit, marked SPO2. Check the polarity of the socket and offer the connector into position. Make sure the socket fits with a snap. Before use, the wireless temperature sensor must be paired with the main unit. Pull the lens trigger and switch the sensor on. The sensor will enter its setup mode. The display will alternate between degrees C and degrees F. After a short while, the display will change to SE. When SE is displayed, release the trigger and switch the main unit on. Pairing will be established within a few seconds. Pairing is confirmed by the graphical symbol on the host. Switch the sensor off and place into the holder. Pairing only needs to be carried out once. Please note only one sensor can be paired with one host. To make changes to system settings, controls or time and date, the user must make these changes through the setup mode. Make sure the unit is connected to the local main supply. Turn the unit on by pressing the main on-off button. The system will automatically perform a power on self-test and sound a confirmation tone. Press the return button. Within 10 seconds of switching on, the unit will automatically enter the setup mode. The first screen displays the various firmware versions. When firmware screen is displayed, press the return key to advance through the setup options. The unit of measure area will flash. Depending on the setup, this will either be millimetres of mercury or kilopascals. Use the patient group button to select the desired setting. Press the return key to advance to the next setup option. From the previous setting, the temperature unit will flash. Depending on the setup, this will be either degrees centigrade or degrees Fahrenheit. Use the patient group button to select the desired setting. Press the return key to advance to the next setting. From the previous setting, the date display will flash. First set the year. Press the patient group button to increase the number or alternatively, press the start stop NIVP button to decrease the number. Having set the correct year, press the enter key to advance to next setting. In this case, it will be the month. Press the patient group button to increase the number or alternatively, press the start stop NIVP button to decrease the number. Press the enter key to advance to next setting. In this case, it will be the day. Press the patient group button to increase the number or alternatively, 
press the Start Stop NIVP button to decrease the number. Press the Enter key to advance to the next setting. In this case, it will be the time. Use the Patient Group Selection and Start Stop button to set the correct hours. Press the Enter key to advance to the next setting. Repeat this process for the minute setting. Switch the system off to save settings.